been having a problem lately with my uh, Hummingbird Helix 7 in my boat. Right here. Um, turning off every time I start the engine. You'll be able to see the problem here in a second. I just started up the unit and as you can see it's going and it's starting to read on the screen there. What I'm going to do is actually hit my key here and you'll see it, you'll see it cut out and there it is it's gone and uh, it's getting pretty annoying so of course I hit the internet and went to a few forums and guys are talking about all kinds of different solutions for this I, I think it's not just a hummingbird problem but potentially every you know anything where we have a big voltage drop on our um, system there's an opportunity for it to cut out so I'm gonna look into a few things and uh, Hopefully find a solution and share that with you. A uh, couple of things are, you know, check the orientation of your your uh, connections to your battery with uh, making sure that your starter motor leads are the first thing that are attached. Um, a couple other things are look into your fuse panel wiring, make sure there's no corrosion. Um, same with the battery battery leads going direct to your, to your um, electronics. So take a few looks at those and see if any of the thing helps out and we'll let you know how it goes. Well, I tried changing the leads to the battery, putting them in order. I checked all the wiring going to the uh, terminal block for the fuse panel. I checked the sizing. I checked the connection. I, the battery is, is good enough. Um, but my Hummingbird Helix still cuts out every time I start my engine. I had an idea, and I ordered these Hanbei dc to dc boost converters off of amazon and these are pretty cool devices so what this does is it'll take an input on this side here and an output dc to dc input output and whatever you put in you can adjust via this pot as an output voltage so i can set my output voltage to this now the hummingbird will run from 10 volts to 20 volts so what i'm going to do is set my output voltage to like 18 volts and this thing will actually boost my 12 volt power coming in now when i turn on my power to my starting motor to my um, starter on the engine the hope is that this module will be able to maintain the voltage above the cutout voltage of 10 volt on the hummingbird during that process. So I'm going to build this up. My hummingbird on my boat is actually uh, set up so that the uh, positives here connect to a fuse terminal and the negative connects to a negative connected bus bar. And then the, the output to the actual unit is a, a Tamiya style connector and that was just to make it easier to hook and unhook for if I wanted to use it in different applications for like ice fishing. So you don't have to do this. Um, you can have just a bare wire, just crimp connectors, however you have it. But this is what I have. So I'm going to set this up. So here's the output side of things. Here's the input side of things. And what I'm going to do is solder this together. I'm going to put some uh, heat shrink on right at the ends here. So that any torque on the wires kind of doesn't get transferred to the board and then I'm going to come back and set this all up and hopefully do some kind of uh, waterproofing on it at the end here to uh, seal it from the elements a little bit better so here we go there we are we have a DC to DC boost converter in line with our power and our output to our sonar so we'll see what happens so I've got my module hooked up here I'm just gonna get to uh, the sonar 
There you can see it's uh, working. So I set the voltage on the module to 16 and a half. So it's, it's a little bit higher than uh, a 12 volt battery, but it's not to like 18 or 20 volts or anything like that where it's close to the upper limit for the sonar. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my uh, key and try to start the motor and see what happens. Absolutely perfect. So this little device fixes it. Um, for sure for the Hummingbird Helix 7 and it actually outputs a very very stable voltage um, if I turn my key the voltage doesn't drop at all it stays right at 16 and a half every time there it is again there it is again works perfectly so here you go here's a solution for you guys with your uh, units and uh, hopefully this helps you if you're enjoying this content please like and subscribe I'd appreciate it. Thank you.